Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Cindy Timber. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a professional athlete and in today's video I'm going to be sharing a little bit of a day in my life and what things look like right now for me as I'm training and preparing for my summer 2023 season. I'm going to be sharing just some of the sessions I've been doing, my lifting, what I eat, and just my nighttime routine. So just kind of what my day overall might look like. In my last video I shared my morning routine, which I don't capture in this one. So if you guys want to go back and watch that, I will attach it up here and you guys can go look at it. So I hope you guys like it and if you do give it a thumbs up and subscribe below for more content 2023 is going to be a great year for great content for me so you want to make sure you're subscribed all right let's get into this video so practice is usually Monday through Saturday and we will practice anywhere from 9 a.m. till 11 a.m. and practices typically go for about two to two and a half hours so when we get to the track, we have a long warm up, usually between 30 minutes to 45 minutes. And we'll do a lot of dynamic movements, a lot of stretching, just a lot of movements to get ourselves really warm because we have to make sure we're going all out and leaving nothing on the table. We also do hurl mobility every single day. So I really love hurl mobility. It's really helpful for core. It's good for balance. It's good just for overall strength. So I personally notice how much of a difference it's made in my workouts. You don't have to be a hurdler to do this. So I recommend that you guys start incorporating this in your workouts as well, because it can really help in a lot of ways. Leg swings are super helpful to get you warmed up as well. Today's session was a lot of block starts and a lot of just acceleration work. We're really focusing on my start, just being more explosive out of the blocks, really being strong. So I'm a very strong person, but I need to really learn how to use that strength in my start. So we do that and something I'm doing this year is I'm focusing on my indoor season so that it can help my outdoor season. And after we work on some starts, we also go over some hurdles. And that's kind of that day session. All right, y'all, I just finished my workout. I'm trying to get this ponytail out. But anyways, uh, as you saw, I did some starts, I did hurdles. It was good. Now I'm headed to lift and it should be a little heavier today. So Fridays are usually my heavy lifting days. Um, so we're gonna see how that goes. They usually have some squats and I have power cleans. Fridays are hard because it's been a long week and my body's tired and I still have practice tomorrow. So anyways, come along with me to lifting. So this is the university that I walk through every day. It's really nice actually. I mean, I can't compare to Michigan, but nice second. Anyways, this is uh, where they allow us to ice bath and that's the outdoor track. And then this is the training room that I don't use because I go somewhere else as a pro. Actually, I'm gonna walk through it real quick. Training room. They have all these athletes that ran here. So I start to warm up with the bar and it just really gets my legs ready to start my lifts. are things that really help me with my start and so today is a really explosive day we work on hang cleans and they really just help us to be more powerful on the track it really transitions well for sprinters so this is something that we'll do at least once a week next I did some box squats this day so I use the band to just really help me bring my knees out because that helps my position as I go down in my squats After that feels good, I usually go up and wait. So we'll have about five or six reps where I go up and wait. Also a very visual person, so my coach explains to me, we'll record, he'll show me what I need to do and how I need to fix it. 
we'll have some supplementary stuff. So today I had some ball slams on the wall. Some RDLs, just to work on my hamstrings. ended it off with some core. All right, my lift is done. I'm about to go ice bath because my legs hurt. And so I'm going to probably stall for a little bit, but good week, done with lifting until next Monday. But yeah, that was a little bit of what I do. All right, if you guys know anything about me in my vlogs, you know that I always try to ice bath as much as I hate them. So this is the cold one. That's a warm tub. I used to like go in here and then go into that one to warm my legs up, but I heard that it's better to just keep your legs cold. So I'm gonna get in this for about 10 minutes and then drive home chilly and then take a shower to warm up. So about to do it now. All right guys, the ice bath is cold per usual. So I'm a bit chilly. I put my pants back on. So, I'm gonna walk outside. It is super cold out there. Let me show you what it looks like right now. So, it doesn't look cold. Well, actually, no, it does look pretty cold. It's pretty chilly out there. Hey guys, so it is the evening. I'm about to make dinner. Husband is here. Come say hi, husband. Hi, husband. This is my husband, John. You guys know him. <laughs> He's going to the store to grab some stuff. What you grabbing? And some things. Whatever you put on my list, baby. He has a shopping list, so I'm gonna do that and make us some dinner soon. <laughs> so, for dinner, we're gonna do these premium cot ahi tuna steaks. I don't think I've actually tried this specific flavor or version of them, but. Anyways, I'm going to put them in some water to frost quickly, and then I'm going to make them with some sweet potatoes and maybe some salad. John found these samosas from an Indian store, so we're going to have that as like an appetizer. They're actually pretty good. They taste just like I went to an Indian restaurant. Something John and I like to do is use a cooking book that we created. So it has all of our recipes in it, which I actually really love because I forget how I did things sometimes. Also, it just inspires me later on when I wanna cook something that was delicious. I just go back and look in our little book. So I'm a little frustrated myself because I didn't write down something that I wanna do right now. Um, so I'm gonna have to wing it. But yeah, it's really helpful to like go back and look at this. We have like probably over 25 recipes in here. We're very much a fan of this book. So FYI, for any of you guys who are chefs or enjoy cooking, oh, my samosas are ready. For any of you guys that like to cook, I recommend writing it down after you're done because it's good to just like do it again well. Like I know people like to wing it and stuff and eventually if you do it so much, you wing it. So there's recipes in here that I don't even go back to look at. But sometimes, especially when you bake things, you have to know like the specifics and it's hard to remember. So I hate having to like go back to look up recipes again if I can avoid it. So write it down. So I started off my dinner peeling some potatoes. I made about three sweet potatoes and after I peeled all of them, I just cut them up into little chunk sized pieces. And after that, I just put them in a Ziploc bag and I season them like this just because it helps me get all the seasonings on it. So I really like putting everything in this bag and I just added some cumin, some paprika, some olive oil, some salt. Um, just seasonings. I made some Spanish styled sweet potatoes. Afterwards, I just grilled some tuna steak. So I'm seasoning it here with some Montreal seasoning. Usually it's for steak, but it tastes really good on tuna steak. So John and I like to use this on our fish. This is our dinner. It is tuna steak with some salad and some sweet potatoes. Tuna steaks are really hard to make sometimes because they're a little pink and I get nervous with pink stuff, but if you don't make them a little bit pink, they're overcooked and mine are overcooked a little bit. So I gave John the ones that are a little less overcooked. 
Um, these ones taste way better than these ones. But anyways, pretty healthy meal. Tuna steaks are really good. We like to eat. Um, we don't like to eat meat on Friday, so it's a really good option if you're trying to do um, like a meatless day or want to just do like a fish. It's definitely really good. All right, I just finished doing the dishes, putting everything away in the dishwasher. I'm about to start it now over here, and I made some tea. So I like to make chamomile tea in the night to help me fall asleep. And I'm gonna get in my normal duck boots and recover a little bit before going to bed. I've also been taking these. Um, heart cherry drinks. I'll take one of these and I will pour it in some water but it really helps aid recovery and it also has like melatonin in it so it helps you sleep. It is NSF certified and it definitely is really really helpful so if you guys haven't tried it yet I recommend trying performance cherry because I really like it. So I start preparing for sleep around 9.30. In that preparation, I like to use my Normatec boots. So these really help with just reducing swelling and really helps my legs for the next day when I go to training. And they really are helpful. I hope you guys enjoy the day in the life video. That is not everything that I do in a day. I have physical therapy some days, massages other days. Um, other appointments with other people, conference calls, certain things I have to do um, as an athlete that happen throughout the week. So that's just a portion of it. But let me know if you guys enjoyed that kind of video and I can show you other parts of my life as well as what else I have going on outside of track. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.